Hey guys, and thanks for watching. Today we're going to take a look at the Lenovo M720T. This version has the 9th gen Intel Core i5 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, and a 256 gig NVMe SSD. Let's take a look. All right, starting at the front of the computer, you can see it has a slim type optical drive CD DVD RW. It does have four USB type A and one type C, headphone, microphone, and the power button. Going around to the back here, it has a spot for an 80 millimeter fan that is not included. It does have serial port, VGA, uh, audio out for speakers or headphones, dual display port connectors, four USB ports. I've already got a Logitech uh, unifying in one of them, and then the Ethernet gigabit adapter, as well as a small form factor power supply, even though this is the larger tower version. Let's go on and open it up. I already pulled the screws out. All right, so to open it up, you take the top off, then you have to take all these loose on the front bezel. And then to open it, you've got to press this little guy and it flips up. Inside, you can see the uh, CPU cooler, CPU power cable, motherboard power connector, which is proprietary. And then it does have these funny headers go, going to the optical drive. And then the other one would go to a spinning uh, or a SATA type uh, hard disk. Uh, it's pretty weird. You know, Lenovo does these proprietary, which I don't really care much for. Uh, and it does have the small form factor power supply in there. Uh, why they go through the motherboard, I don't know. Got a PCI Express X16. Does have a fan header that you could go back here with a fan on. Uh, does have two X1s four uh, DDR4 slots. Only one is populated on this model because this is the eight gig version. And then there's the NVMe SSD. This one came with a Western Digital in it. Um, this bracket though, in my experience, I haven't tried an M720T, but I bought uh, some of the previous M710s and they did not have this bracket if you did not get an NVMe version. So you can't just upgrade it. You got to find the bracket, which is not the easiest part to find. I'll put the part number in the description, um, but uh, uh, availability can certainly be an issue. I think I got mine from China and it took weeks. You can see the optical drive uses kind of a funny power connector and then SATA. Uh, you can mount a regular uh, three and a half inch drive up here or over here and it does come with the power for SATA and a regular SATA cable that are bundled together. So that's the inside. All right, so as far as using the computer, let's fire it up from the cold boot here. And you can see what the startup time looks like. So pretty quick to post. And thanks to that NVMe drive, pretty quick to boot and get to a desktop without a password. And once everything's done loading, let's take a look at how quick Chrome launches as well. So pretty instantaneous, so pretty impressive. Of course, I do have it with a Logitech. Uh, keyboard and mouse combo, of course, you know, it does come with a regular wired keyboard and mouse from the factory. I really do like this desktop computer. I think it's a good value. I also think it's pretty well built and that Lenovo puts better quality parts in there than a lot of manufacturers. I think as far as pros, you've got the uh, good Intel processor, you've got three available uh, RAM slots from the factory, and a good NVMe hard disk. Uh, I think as far as cons, I'd have to go with that proprietary power supply, running all the power for the peripherals through the motherboard, which is kind of crazy, and the lack of an 80 millimeter rear fan. I just worry about cooling long term, but of course you could upgrade that yourself. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please put it in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you know anything about it that I don't, I'm always glad to learn something new. Thanks.